Hello, I'm Robert Hu, and guys, welcome to Tell Your Tale Thursday. This is episode 39, and um, I'm kind of redoing my comment uh, uh, commentary on this episode because the first round I did it, uh, well, I was I was recording, and for some reason my mic wasn't picking up my voice through my computer, and also uh, it picked up like the the, uh, the system sound, but it won't pick up my voice. So I'm <laughs> I'm having to just sort of redo my recording, unfortunately. So uh, anyway, so this is episode 39, and this is called uh, Under the Misty Toe. And um, uh, so uh, let's see, make sure this is... Okay, that's working. Okay. <clears throat> and um, uh, again, I have to redo the, all of this. Um, so... I'm going to be working on an update video because uh, I got an important things to announce on my on this channel. But uh, yeah, so I have that. Plus, also I'm working on some Christmas presents for uh, a couple of bronies in the brony fandom, uh, mainly uh, a lot of members in the uh, Rift Rocket, and um, uh, I think that's all I have to announce until then. So until I uh, start working on an update video. Oh, and also um, I was currently six. Uh, a few weekends ago, but uh, I'm doing better now. Uh, it turns out I actually had ammonia, so I had to go to the doctor to get a shot. Uh, but uh, anyway, so uh, without further ado, let's jump right into this reaction. Uh, three, two, one. <laughs> It's kind of funny that uh, Zip is good at just naturally flying, I guess, but it's still it's kind of terrible at driving. Why was Cloudpuff looking a little angry right over there? And I think this is going to be a Misty centered episode. <laughs> What are those ridiculous things on their heads? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Must be an Earth Pony Wish Day thing. Ugh. Silly ponies and their pointless holiday traditions. It's sad, really. All their power, no intellect. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so sad. I don't think Mike and Mark or... Yes, I think it's Mike. Yeah, it's Mickey and Mark. They really haven't explained how uh, Misty gets her pendulum thing, but I'm hoping that the next chapters they will explain that. Because the thing, the problem I have with um, Tell You Tell and Make Your Mark is that they're very inconsistent with their lore, at least when, you know, when it comes out. <laughs> that was like a very close to the, uh, the more you know. A uh, star. Okay. Did you see that? That magic! That power! It should be mine! Oh, mine! Good oh, <laughs> gravy! Dragon fire. And then my powers can finally be restored to their full strength! And you are going to make that happen. Or else. <laughs> or else what? <laughs> I'm gonna kick her out of her house? <laughs> yeah, I think I said this in the last um, recording, but um, Izzy shouldn't be picking up packages that she has no idea where they come from, especially now in these days. <laughs> I still can't figure out how she gets <laughs> through that little opening. Come on, Misty. Or how any of the main five it even noticed it. Stay focused. It's also interesting to note that uh <laughs> Sparky's I guess kind of like a sleepwalker. <laughs> Me in the middle of the night. <laughs> I have to say one thing. Misty is very similar to uh, Batwigs because 
Misty's always trying to get, you know, either Sparky or try to get the lantern and stuff. And uh, in the uh, Philly Fantasia series, uh, Batwigs is always trying to find crystals for a uh, Wranglem. So I, I find these, <laughs> I find that uh, Tell Your Tale in Generation 5, <laughs> Generation 5 and uh, Philly Fantasia, they have very similarities. Well, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Clearly. Were you just singing? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? I wouldn't Maybe. think that airplane would be in, you know, the Christmas spirit type. Is that what I think it is? Open it. <gasps> After all these years, <laughs> should I count your chickens <laughs> or dragons? Place as the most powerful fire in history. And I think I said this in the last recording, but uh. I f that is interesting to me. So she's considered what they would call a fire alicorn, which is... Wait, hold up. But that would make sense that she wants fire breath. Because she's a fire alicorn? So I hope that um, the Make and Mark series will uh, touch a little bit more on that. I like how uh, at least Misty took back the dog. Yeah, and this was... Uh, okay, so this was episode 39. Wow, we almost... The next episode will be episode 40, and I'll have to do a little bit of a celebration of uh, getting to 40 episodes of Tell Your Tale. And wow. <laughs> so uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, this was called... Uh, Okay, here we go. Yeah, this episode was called Under the Misty Toe, which, uh, of course, they had to put more <laughs> pony puns in here. But, uh, yeah, so, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to be working on an update video, hopefully, if I can get around to it. And uh, I'm also going to be doing a lot of uh, uh, Christmas presents for some of the bronies in the brony fandom. And so that's going to be taking up some of my time, so I'm going to be finishing all of that. Plus, also, I'm going to be, in the next few weekends, also getting ready to... Uh, prepare for my Christmas vacation with my family. So uh, I'll try to get around to doing more Tell Your Tales if they keep uploading them, but um, um, I'm probably not going to be doing as much reaction videos for a while. And the, the next year, I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, project uh, videos and uh, hopefully some collaboration videos if I can get some bronies on board. But anyways, I'm Robert Hu, and I will see you guys in the future.